Warning, this product contains extreme nostalgia. Because your job got you down? Is adulting not as fun as you thought it would be? Do you want a way to recapture that happiness from when you were a kid? At Retrostalgia Box, you feel like a kid again. Comics, toys, and video games hand curated from the past and straight to your door. Unbox happiness at RetrostalgiaBox.com. Once again, that's RetrostalgiaBox.com. Yeah! Are you looking to advertise your small business? Then look no further. The PowerCast Network has over 12,000 hits per day to our channel. We have packages starting out at just $1 per day. That's right. You can advertise to an audience of over 12,000 each day for only $1. Give us a call at 815-290-9087 or drop me a line at info at braddrake.net. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 1987 Supermod. I'm your host, as always, Brad Drake, and this is the American Wrestling Association. That's right. The New Year's series is over. It is February 1st, and we're back in action with the AWA, everybody. Let's go ahead and set our venue for tonight. We have a television taping in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Here we are, the CKND Studios. And our venue is selected. Let's take a look at our absent workers, everybody. It's nothing but Jerry Blackwell, who's been out for some time, injured. Now, we have tons of protege work here, and things are looking good here for the AWA. Lots of protege work means a very healthy and happy locker room. I got to tell you, everybody, I am excited to be back with the save. Don't get me wrong, I thoroughly enjoyed the WWF save, and we'll continue to run that, but this is the mothership. The AWA is the mothership, the original save, and we're over a year of running shows, everybody, and this is how we got our start, is with the AWA on the Super Mod, and we're going to continue on with it and have some fun. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our card for tonight and see who's on it and what they're going to do. We're going to see Eddie Guerrero in action. The Russians are going to be in tag team action. Frank the Tank Melson, Greg Wojciechowski, and Steve Olsonowski will all be on the show this evening. We're going to see Don Morocco, the fabulous ones, in the semi-main in a tag team match. And in our main event, everybody, we're going to see Larry Zabisco once again challenge Greg Gagne for that world television title. For our taping for next week, we're going to see Penny Mitchell. The Top Guns will be in tag team action. The Dream Machine, the Trooper. Bobby Duncan in solo action. Tom Zank, the number one contender to the heavyweight championship of the world, will be in action. We're going to see Larry Zabisco in singles action. And then our main event, everybody, we're going to see Kevin Kelly and Doug Summers versus the Midnight Rockers. Sorry for that temporary delay, but it has been a month since I've looked at the AWA and my brain froze up for a second. So with all that said, everybody, and it was a lot said, let's... Get to booking. Here we go with Walker and Guerrero opening this one up. And unfortunately, Eddie Guerrero is just not happy with our promotion. And uh, we're trying to do a lot of things with him, but he just seems to not want to be here. So I don't know how much longer he's going to be around here for. All right, here we go. Eddie with the W here. Get him some overness here in Canada. Up next, everybody, as usual, we have a tag match. Fox and Karijan will face the dirty, no-good Russians. All right, here we go. Fox and Karijan versus the Russians. Of course, it's going to be another three-minute enhancement bout. Here is Alan Fox. Here is David Karijan, and here are those big, nasty Russians, and they are a nasty team, no doubt about it, and Zhukov is going to get the win for his team here, 
And this one, as I like to see everybody, is in the books. Up next here, Sam Villo or Sam Vio versus Frank the Tank Melson. Frankie is going to continue his winning ways here for us as we continue to give him a monster push. We know he's got the skills, but he's got to get over with the fans, and we're going to continue working our way to do that. And it's a great picture of Frank Melson there with the headband. I dig it. And here we go, Frank with the W, everybody. Up next here, we have Gerald Finley, and he's going to have a rough go of it here with Greg Wojciechowski, former WWA heavyweight champion of the world and big-time amateur wrestling champion. All right, here is Gerald Finley, who does what Gerald Finley does best, and that's get pinned, everybody. And he is going to face Greg Wojciechowski here. All right, here we go. Wojo with the win, and he'll continue his winning ways on television. Up next here, we have Jeff Crimley and Steve Olsonowski, and they're going to go three, and that's two, count it, two Polish last names in a row. Here we go, Krimli versus Olsonowski, and Olsonowski can use all the wins he can get. He's on the losing end of things quite often. Here is Jeff Krimli, and here is Steve-O. Even though he's got white-hot momentum. Wow, he's got white-hot momentum? And he's, th well, he's 30 and 22. Fair enough. I take back everything I said. <laughs> All right, here we go. Steve-O with the W. And he's back at that win column. And up next, we have a promo here with Don Morocco. And Don Morocco has been outstanding since we've signed him. Don Morocco cuts a promo. And, of course, it is Canada, so he's talking to Larry Nelson. Here is Don Morocco talking to Larry Nelson. And he is talking about Jerry Lawler as they continue their heated feud. A feud that could become bloody, everybody. You just never know. There we go. Five minutes on that promo. Up next here, we have Randy Ricci rocking Randy is going to face Don Morocco in action. That's not going to go well for Rock and Randy here. And here we go, Rock and Randy, who I believe is still working today. I saw some comments of him, of his, on Facebook the other day with a mutual friend posting. Randy Ricci was always a smart guy with wrestling. I don't think anybody could dispute that. All right, Don Morocco with the win here over the Young Ricci, and this one's in the books. Up next, we have a promo. It's going to be the Fabulous Ones, and it's been a while, everybody. My brain is hazy. The Fabs are in the feud with the Midnight Express over the World Tag Team title. That's correct. So that's exactly who they'll be talking about. The Fabulous Ones cut a promo. And here we go. Here is Steve Kern. And here is Stan Lane. And Kurt and Lane are talking to Larry Nelson. And they're going to be talking about Dennis Condry. And that no good Randy Rose. All right, so here we go. Off screen, off screen. Entertainment, entertainment, and booked. Bam. All right, now we're going to see the Fabs. In action against Force and Robertson. Say it again. Force and Robertson against the Fabs here. And here we go. Here is Mike Force. And Greg Robertson. Here are the fabulous ones. Greg Robertson's got that million-dollar look. I don't know how he wasn't a top draw in a territory somewhere, but he was not. Here we go. Steve Kern with the W here, everybody. And up next, we're going to have that promo from Larry Zabisco. And here we go with Dirty Larry. 
I don't think he's ever been called in. I think I just invented that. <laughs> and he is talking to Larry Nelson. And he's talking about that Greg Gagne. Here we go. Entertainment. Off screen. That one's in the books. Now, again, it's been a while. So I've got to double check the time for this match. These two can go 16. And we are going to have Zabisco. Versus Gagne. The world television title is on the line, everybody. And these two have had an excellent feud so far. As they have battled around the country. All right, here we go, everybody. I've made the decision. Larry Nelson is going to take the title. And of course, he is going to cheat to win because it wouldn't happen any other way. So here we go. A big title match, title change here, everybody. We'll put Nick uh, Gene Kanitschke in charge. And here we go. We can crank this one up a couple more. You know what? Let's give this match one more minute. And then we're going to give Don Morocco another minute in his promo. That'll take us up to 65. There we go. All right, so here we go. we got a heck of a television show lined up here. Let's go ahead and book this thing and see how it turns out. All right, Eddie Guerrero wins with the frog splash over Bobby Walker. He gets a 38. The match gets a 38. Eddie got a 47 on his own. And here we go. Foxy was off his game a little bit. So we have Fox and Karizian versus the Russians. 41 overall. Boris Shukov gets us the win with that running headbutt drop. And not a bad score at all for the Russians, considering we're in a different country. 56 and 57, respectfully. All right, up next to everybody, we've got Frank the Tank Melson getting that win over Sam Vio. And Red Text the Doom all over the place. We only get a 20 for this match. And uh, that's all right. Frank the Tank got a 40 on his own. So a 40 and a 21, and they drop all the way down to a 20? How does that happen? I don't know. Moving right along here. Wojciechowski gets the win over Gerald Finley with that feared Boston Crab that he has. And Wojo gets a score of 76, which is, again, a very good score for Manitoba. That's nice to see here. We have a lot of green, and green equals money in TEW. Here we go. Krimley and Olsonowski. Olsonowski gets the win with that patented backflip. Steve-O gets a 61 on his own. Krimley gets a 21. We get a 49 overall for the match. Let's see if there's any takeaways. Nothing but inconsistency, and Krimley is a mess. <laughs> Up next here, Don Morocco with a heck of a promo here. 80 overall. Lots of green. Excellent. You can see LKC and Don Morocco are working out perfect as a pairing here. Good stuff. Let's see how he does in the ring. 68 overall, but not for the fault of Don Morocco as he scores an 84. Rock and Randy here gets a 34-68 overall for the match. Not bad at all for an um, enhancement match. Here we go with the Fabulous Ones and Larry Nelson. Their promo only gets a 65. Ugh, not good, but then again, we are in Winnipeg, and this is how it goes. All right, up next here, Force and Robertson, and the Fabulous Ones get us uh, 91 and 86. Lots of green, lots of money, 66 overall. Again, not bad at all for an enhancement match. Up next, yes, Larry Zabisco lights him up with a 93 promo here. Terrific. And let's see how the main event goes here, everybody. And here we go. Zabisco and Ganya get an 85 overall. Greggy only gets a 77, which is disappointing to say the least. And Larry Zabisco has won the world television title everybody yeah we got a new world television champion that means our big three titles are all controlled right now by heels all right lots of bonus here bonus city let's finish this one up we get an 82 overall bam popularity increase across canada i like it all right now we are ready to record next week's show and record we will all right, change over our colors, otherwise I'll forget, and we'll end up recording the wrong show. And again, for those of you that have been with us since the beginning, you know that's happened a time or two, maybe even three times. Here we go. Blue Angel versus Penny Mitchell in the opener, little ladies match, ladies action. And Penny Mitchell has been a good steady hand for us, but so has Blue Angel. She has done 
whatever we've needed her to do. Here is Penny Mitchell. Penny Mitchell's a rough and tough customer. A very good women's wrestler. Penny Mitchell's going to get that win, everybody. A nice win on television. Up next, we have Curtis and Fields against the Top Guns. Doesn't that sound nice, Curtis and Fields? Like Curtis Fields? Sounds like the name of a town, doesn't it? Curtis Fields. And here we go with the Toppies back in action. Lots when it comes to looks, little when it comes to the ring. So here is Jeff Curtis. Here is Clement Fields. And here are the top guns, everybody. The guns, of course, are going to get the win. And we are going to have John Paul get the win for his team. And another nice win here on television for the top guns. All right, Paul Dose and Dream Machine. And Dream Machine, of course, could use a win. So he's going to get one here. Dose versus Dream Machine. I'm sure that uh, Dream Machine here has very little popularity in Canada. And this will help him. All right, here we go. Dream Machine with the W, everybody. And I saw not too long ago that Dream Machine actually did have a stint in the AWA. So this is pretty realistic. All right, Rex King and the Trooper are up next. And this one is... Not going to score well because the trooper is still green as grass. All right, who was the match again? King, Rex King. I'm a huge fan of the trooper. I'm a huge fan of Dale Wilkes. God rest his soul. And uh, here we go, our win for our man. There he is, the trooper. Trooper with the W, everybody. Yeah. Trooper and DJ Peterson together are good for business. Here we go. Three-minute win for the Trooper. And we got Jason Walker and Bobby Duncan up next. And big bad Bobby Duncan has banged around for quite a while. And he has had plenty of experience in Winnipeg. And, of course, I forgot Duncan's opponent's name, <laughs> Walker. I do that often, I know. Here is Bobby Dockham. Here is Jason Walker. There's Walker. All right, here we go. Bobby Dockham with the W. He is a nasty customer, everybody. Big, bad dude. All right, Tommy Zank is going to cut his promo here. Clicked on match by accident. And, of course, Tom Zink will be talking about the man he is chasing for that heavyweight crown, and that is Kurt Hennig. He's talking to Larry Nelson here. And they are talking about Kurt Hennig. The heavyweight champion of the world. I don't know what the hell happened there. We got that straightened out. And here we go, entertainment. This one's booked, and Tommy Zink is going to be in the ring next with the dangerous... Joe Williams. All right, three minutes. Williams versus Zank. Here we go. Here is Joey Williams. Here is Tommy Zank. Flakomania is in effect. <laughs> he hasn't flaked out yet, so that's a good sign. All right, here we go. Tommy Zank with the W, everybody, in this quick enhancement match. And up next, we have Larry Zabisco. And check this out. Larry Zabisco's match is going to be for the World Television title crown. So Larry Zabisco is going to cut a promo here. And you know in that promo he is going to mock Greg Gagne. So here we go. One Larry talking to another here. Here is Larry Zabisco talking to Larry Nelson. They're talking about that Greg Gagne. And here we go. Entertainment off screen for Greg. That one's in the books. And up next, you're against Larry Zabisco. Clicked on that too fast. Billy Moore against Larry Zabisco here. I'm having a hard time today 
spelling Zabisco's name. I've noticed if I don't get it right off the bat, then I'll butcher the whole thing. <laughs> so I strive to get it right the first time. All right, here we go. Here is Billy Moore. And here is Larry Zabisco. Larry Zabisco with the W here, everybody. And this one is in the books. The first title defense for Larry Zabisco. Six-minute promo here, of course, for the Midnight Rockers. This could prove to be a disastrous mistake. Rest assured of that. All right, here is Marty Jannetty. Here is Shawn Michaels. They're talking with Larry Nelson. And they're talking about Boris Zhukov. And that sold out Ustinov. All right, so we got off screen, off screen, entertainment, entertainment. And this one is booked. And up next, we got Kelly and Summers against the Midnight Rockers in the main event here, everybody. We'll set this one for 16. We might have some added time. We'll see. All right, here is Kelly and Summers. And both have white hot momentum, so that's good. Here is the Midnight Rockers, and of course, they both have red hot momentum. We can auto name this one, and we are going to have Marty Janetti get the win. We can do an epic here, and his win is going to come by DQ. Typical television finish, everybody. All right, got this one booked, and we can add two more minutes. So we're going to add a minute to the Tom Zank promo. We're going to add a minute to the main event. So let's go ahead and adjust that now so that we know. For next time. All right, let's go ahead and run this show, everybody. Let's see how we do here. And Penny Mitchell gets the win over Blue Angel, a whopping 20. Red text the Doom, another one that's pretty surprising here, 37 out of 29. And we drop all the way to a 20. But nothing ever surprises me in TEW. Here we go. The top guns, 51-47, 40 overall. Green text there. Green equals money. This means the top guns are getting over here, everybody. All right. Dream Machine and Paul Dose. Red text of doom, 47 and a 23. And 23 is the final score for the match. That's extremely disappointing, but not shocking. Troy Graham probably does not have a whole lot of experience wrestling in Canada. Ho, 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 ho. Here's major red text to doom, everybody. 25, 25 somehow gets us an 11. Wow. That one hurts. I think we're going to take a loss on this card, everybody. All right. Jason Walker and Bobby Duncan, and they only get a 49. We get Red Text to Doom on these two. 65 and a 15 gets us a 49. Ooh, we're in trouble here, everybody. This card is not going well. Tommy Zank gets a 71 promo, though. That's a pleasant surprise with Larry Nelson here. He continues his feud with Kurt Hennig. Lots of green. Green equals money. Tommy Zank on his own here against Joe Williams in Winnipeg. He wins with that missile dropkick and gets a 63 overall. That's not a bad score at all for an enhancement match. Here we go, baby. Yeah! Larry Zabisco hits a 100 promo. Yeah, that may have just saved this craptastic show. All right, let's see how he does in his first title defense here. And Zabisco defeats more with the Larry Land Dreamer. 85 and a 23, nets us a 67. Eh, eh, eh. That's, you know, what are you going to do? Not bad score. Not a bad score, though, for enhancement. All right, here we go. Hey, the Rockers turned in a decent promo. They almost got an 80, a 79. Lots of green here for the Midnight Rockers. I like it. And this is not bad. There might be some hope for this main event. Also, the main event, hey, gets an 83, 96, 96, 69, 88. Lots of green here, and we get driven all the way down to an 83, probably due to Kevin Kelly. Let's see if there's any takeaways here. We have a million and one bonuses here, and the only takeaway is some fatigue. For Kevin Kelly. Wow. 
let's see if we get a gain here. And we do get a gain, yes, across the board. And I give a lot of credit to Larry Zabisco's promo here. No doubt about it. All right, everybody, so that is going to do it for this card, which puts us up to Thursday night for a spot show. And I don't even have this one booked out yet. But I'll take care of that off screen. We'll come up with something. And what's going on here? Oh, they were taking shots at us. And there's some negative backlash against the WWF. Fair enough. Wild West is still running here. Only $1.3 in debt. I, I don't know how this company is not out of business. Let's try to take them over. They're not interested in selling to anybody. Fair enough. All right, let's take a look at our incoming here. Kevin Kelly is tired. That's really the only thing against us here. And we'll go ahead and get a spot show scheduled and in the game for tonight. Let's take a quick look around the game world. And let's see what kind of a craptastic job Crockett is doing. Paul Orndorff and Rufus R. Jones have made events here, everybody. Wow, is this terrible. <laughs> I don't even... I don't even want to look at anything else. All right. That's going to do it for us, everybody, for this episode. Don't forget, we are on Discord. You can join us on Discord under 1987 Supermod and talk wrestling with us. We've got a nice group on there. We have a good time together. Also, check us out on social media, facebook.com slash group slash 1987 Supermod. You can also find us over on Reddit under the subreddit of TEW2020 Friends. Don't forget... Version 10 of the Super Mod is out and about live and in living color on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. You can still find version 9 over on braddrake.net. Just click on Super Mod. Last but not least, everybody, if you're new to the channel, and there are a lot of you that are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and leave us a message below. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you back in action with the AWA tomorrow.